Hello, my name's Bob Willis, and welcome to Defect of the Month. Each month, we take an opportunity of looking at defects that are featured on the NPL Defect Database, a free resource that you can use 24-7. Outgassing from solder resist can be an issue for a number of reasons. During the wave soldering process, it is possible that high moisture content in the solder mask can actually cause outgassing as the board goes over the solder wave. We have seen this in the past, which has actually created open circuit joints, the reason being it's causing displacement of the solder, as the solder is not actually getting to the pads on a surface mount application. Normally speaking, with conventional technology, through hole soldering, it's not really an issue. Also, outgassing from solder resist can be an issue with underfill materials. If you're using underfill and going through a curing operation, it's possible for the moisture to generate voids in the underfill, which then reduces the properties of the underfill material. If we're talking about no-flow underfill, where we're putting underfill onto the surface of the printed circuit board with an area array package and then reflowing it and curing it at the same time, it can actually cause the component to lift during the curing, op curing operation allowing unsoldered joints to form. They are in fact intermittent, which is even more of a problem.